Not anymore. Usually about March 15th is when we roll into our severe weather season. March was just so quiet for us up until really was. Really yeah. this past weekend. Right. And Lucky. Now we're starting to get active again, but it's going to be active in a different way in the days ahead because we're talking about more cold air and the chance of rain without the threat for severe weather after today. Of course, looking at Advantage Doppler 3D right now, you can see we've got some light rain moving in up across northern Oklahoma and then thunderstorms well down to the southwest. Let's first take you into northern Oklahoma here. Some spotty showers just around Enid, just south of Enid. They should make way between Hennessy and Enid here. Otherwise, right around Fairview, there's a little pocket of light to moderate rain just north and west of you. And this is the setup that we are going to see in the days ahead where we're going to see waves of rain moving through here, but we're not going to talk about any type of severe weather like that you're seeing right now down towards around Matador, Paducah, just south of Childress. This is in Texas here. We've got one, two, three very strong to severe thunderstorms here. Even had a tornado report just west of Turkey, but the cold air, it is moving into Oklahoma. And look at these temperatures now in Concho, 53 degrees after we maxed out at 64 degrees here in Oklahoma City today. We hit 71 degrees. Temperatures have come down a little bit now, 65 degrees, 61 in War Acres, but you can see the 50s. They're really not that far away. Guthrie, Kingfisher, Stillwater, Chandler temperatures in the 50s and it gets even colder than that as you make way up to the northwest. Look at Woodward right now. 39 degrees. One hour ago we had the 30s up in northwestern Oklahoma and temperatures near 80 down to the south. But this cold air is going to win out and it's going to keep pushing down to the south and get ready for a chilly night tonight where we drop down to 39 degrees in Enid, 37 in Alva and Woodward right here in Oklahoma City, 40 degrees. Look at these rain chances, especially after midnight. We're talking about a pretty nice chance for rain overnight, but this means that your morning commute, it will be wet. So give yourself a few extra minutes as you're driving to work because rain is likely tomorrow, 40 degrees, and it is going to be a cold, raw day where temperatures are only in the 40s. It will be wet, rain. Yeah, we're talking about winds around 15 to 25 miles per hour. It's going to make it feel like the 30s. You know what? It's back to feeling like winter, but this is what we need. This is what our soils need because we know still it's just how bad that drought is. So highs across the state tomorrow, low to mid 40s from Enid to Oklahoma City. As we head into Wednesday, still dealing with this cold air overhead, low to mid 40s across the state. So you're wearing the sweater, you're grabbing that winter jacket for tomorrow, and you're going to need it for Wednesday. Tuesday and Wednesday, our rain chances are practically identical here. 70 to 80% chance of rain for both of the days here. Yeah, so we're talking about rain. We need the rain, and there's even the chance for some wintry weather as well for both tomorrow and Wednesday, mainly well out to the west and northwest. We're talking about a rain-snow mix. We're not talking about any type of travel disruptions, however, with this. Predictor, we are squeezing out a lot of rain with this. You can see... By looking at this map, one to two inches of rain will be common when the system is out of here by Thursday, and there will likely be isolated higher amounts coming in, maybe up around three inches. So this is going to be a good soaking rain event. We desperately need it, and this will improve the drought in a big way. So good chance of rain tomorrow, good chance of rain for Wednesday. We're cold both of these two days here, Tuesday and Wednesday. By Thursday, 55 degrees, rain is headed out of here, and then warmer weather rolls back in here by the weekend 70s and then thunderstorms possible by early next week. And you're up to date with the latest first alert forecast.